Picture this, the ground shakes, buildings sway, concrete cracks, steel groans, but an ancient wooden temple simply dances, swaying, flexing, and settling back as if nothing happened. This is the magic of Japanese joinery sashimono, a craft where strength comes from flexibility, not rigidity. Instead of fighting nature, craftsmen embraced it, creating interlocking joints that let wood move and absorb shock. No nails, no screws, just wood, perfectly shaped to fit together, forming invisible seams and lasting strength. Each joint allows beams to move independently, sharing the load and surviving earthquakes that topple modern structures. Sashimono isn't just about making beautiful things, it's about integrity and resilience. Every piece is a puzzle, every joint essential, and the result is furniture and buildings that last centuries. This philosophy honors the material, the process, and a kind of permanence that defies our throwaway culture. Sashimono is more than woodworking, it's a legacy of survival and quiet rebellion against the idea that newer is always better. The hidden joints are the silent heroes, the reason a centuries-old box still holds its shape while modern furniture falls apart. It's a lesson in humility and ingenuity, one we could all learn from. When you see Sashimono, you're seeing a story of adaptation, respect for nature, and the pursuit of lasting quality. It's a testament to the idea that true strength is knowing how to bend without breaking. These ancient techniques put our disposable habits to shame. Sashimono is a living tradition, quietly holding the world together, one perfect joint at a time. In a world obsessed with speed, Sashimono reminds us that patience and precision are their own kind of power. And that's why, when the earth moves, the joints hold. To understand Sashimono, you have to understand Japan a land of beauty and earthquakes where survival means building with nature, not against it. Rigid structures shatter, flexible ones endure. This became the foundation of Japanese architecture and fine woodworking. Sashimono, meaning joined things, flourished over a thousand years ago, blending elegance with resilience. Craftsmen adapted temple joinery to furniture, making pieces that were beautiful, functional, and built to last. Resourcefulness was key, using smaller pieces of wood with precision, wasting nothing, honoring the spirit of the tree. Regional styles emerged, Kyoto's graceful Kiyosashimono, Edo's bold Edo Sashimono, but all shared mastery of wood and joinery. The craft evolved, but the core principles, precision, respect for materials and lasting strength, remained unchanged. Sashimono's history isn't written in books, but in the silent, perfect joints of objects that have survived centuries. It's a story of adaptation, reverence, and ingenuity, shaped by fire, earth, and the hands of countless artisans. Every joint tells the story of a culture that learned to thrive in harmony with nature. At the heart of Sashimono are its ingenious joints, each a marvel of engineering and artistry. The dovetail, or arigata, locks corners tight, resisting pulling forces and showcasing visible craftsmanship. The mortise and tenon, or hozo, forms the backbone of frames with hidden or through variations for strength and elegance. The Kanawa Sugi scarf joint joins beams end to end, using interlocking cuts and a locking key for seamless, powerful connections. Each joint is chosen for its structural purpose, working with the wood's natural tendencies. Sashimono isn't just about looks, it's about solving problems with precision and respect for the material. Mastery comes from understanding which joint to use and why in every situation. This silent conversation between maker and material is what gives Sashimono its enduring strength. Tools are the soul of Sashimono, extensions of the craftsman forged from legendary Japanese steel. Blacksmiths perfected laminated blades, a hard, sharp edge bonded to a resilient body, just like samurai swords. The Japanese handplane or kana is pulled, not pushed, allowing for exquisite control and a glass-smooth finish. Saws or nokagiri cut on the pull stroke, making thinner, more precise cuts and wasting less wood. Chisels or nomi shaped from layered steel are sharpened to perfection, slicing joints with surgical accuracy. Sharpening is a daily ritual, a meditation that connects craftsmen to tool and prepares for flawless work. These tools make the impossibly tight joints of sashimono possible. Without them, the craft's legendary precision and beauty would be out of reach. The tradition of steel making is as vital as the joinery itself. In Sashimono, the tool and the hand are one. Sashimono isn't just a relic. It's alive in luxury cars, earthquake-proof buildings, and the workshops of modern artisans. 
Lexus and others use Sashimono-inspired techniques for stunning interiors, blending tradition with innovation. Architects study ancient joinery to design flexible, resilient structures for today's world. Mass market imitations miss the point. Sashimono is a philosophy, not just a look. True Sashimono lives in the hands of dedicated craftsmen, creating heirlooms meant to last generations. Each piece is a quiet act of defiance against disposable culture. In a world of shortcuts, Sashimono stands for doing things the right way, no matter how long it takes. Its spirit endures wherever integrity and craftsmanship are valued. Let's try making a simple Kanawa Sugi, the elegant scarf joint that joins two beams end to end. Start with two matching wood blocks, a pencil, ruler, chisel, and a Japanese pole saw. Mark your lines carefully, precision is everything. Draw the joint's outline, a long, tapered wedge on each block, mirror images of each other. Saw along the lines then chisel away the waste, working slowly to your marks. Cut a small mortise in the center for the locking key, shape a tapered wooden pin to fit snugly, slide the joint together and tap in the key, the seam tightens, locking the pieces as one, no glue, no nails, just pure joinery. Step back and admire. You've used a principle that's held temples together for centuries. It's strong, elegant, and a testament to patience and skill. This is the heart of Sashimono, strength through precision and respect for the material. Why isn't everyone making furniture this way? Because Sashimono mastery is hard, really hard. In Japan, apprentices spend years just sharpening tools and observing before making a single cut. They learn to read wood, anticipate its movement, and design joints that last. This knowledge is passed down directly, built through thousands of hours of hands-on work. It takes at least a decade to become a competent artisan, and a lifetime to become a true master. In a world of instant gratification, such dedication is rare, making Sashimono objects even more precious. Owning a piece means owning a slice of someone's life, their discipline and their legacy. Each joint is a physical embodiment of patience and skill. The dwindling number of masters is a warning, this knowledge could fade away, but it's also a reminder of what we stand to lose if we let it. Sashimono's rarity is its greatest value. In a fast-paced world, Sashimono teaches patience, precision, and permanence. Preserving this craft means preserving a way of thinking, valuing what's made well, not just what's made fast. Support artisans by choosing handmade over mass-produced. Invest in objects that last. Try making something yourself, even a simple joint, to appreciate the skill involved. Share what you learn. Teach a friend or a child and spark a new legacy. Value repair over replacement, and take pride in doing things right. The lessons of Sashimono, respect for materials, patience and quiet pursuit of perfection, are universal. They offer a blueprint for a more thoughtful, sustainable life. The flame of this ancient craft has survived a thousand years, it's our privilege to keep it burning for generations to come.